My name is Paul Ledwan. I am the principal cellist in the Omaha Symphony. I've been here for um, over 20 years now. The Swan, of course, is um, part of the cello rep. Um, it's something that everybody learns. The Dying Swan was choreographed by Mikhail Fokin back in 1905 for dancer Anna Pavlova for the Mariinsky Ballets Gala in St. Petersburg, Russia. And since then, it has become such an iconic variation for dancers all over the globe. When I was a very young dance student, I was at a very recreational dance studio to begin with. And one day my mom took me to go look at this ballet school and they did this little in-studio performance and one of the oldest dancers at the time there actually performed this variation. And me watching that sold me to become more of a ballet dancer and be more ballet focused. So this is a very special variation to me. It's one of the best known pieces, mainly because it's very beautiful. Uh, it um, shows off the sound of the cello. It's um, when, every, when somebody thinks of the cello, they always describe it as, oh, it's so uh, beautiful and smooth and lyrical. And, and so this is the epitome of that. What's interesting about um, this variation is that every dancer does it slightly different, which is so interesting. And I think it just depends like where the dancer is in their own personal lives as well as in their career. I've seen younger dancers perform this variation. I've seen dancers do this as their final retirement show. And for me personally doing this right now, it's kind of letting my emotions show for the season that we kind of lost this year. And I'm so glad that we're still able to do this filming process, but not being able to do it every single day has definitely broken my heart a little bit. I started playing the cello when I was 10, and I do remember learning this piece with my first teacher. Um, so I was 12, 13, something like that, and it was uh, in this green book, the cellist's favorite concert album, um, uh, lots of, uh, every, every piece was one page long, and this was one, and so I do remember learning it, and at one point my teacher said, you, you, um, this one is an important one to learn because someday you'll be playing this with an orchestra, and she was right. <laughs> 